First of all, I'd like to see Andosea get off a little bit more. Um, I think he's one of the keys. He only had four points at halftime. He's an import. They need a little bit more production from him. Daniel Defonso, the first two points of the game. Great way for the Miracle Ball to simulate it. It's great to see the veteran Daniel Defonso knock down that jump shot. Doubt it, looking at his options. Send it cross court to Acuna. Shovel pass, Heruela. Nagana to Papasukan. Tried to get it to Bam Bam Gamalinda. Last touch on the Meralco defender. As we hear from court side with Sal Guevara. Meralco just needs to continue changing up their defense to break the rhythm of Blackwater and be mindful of Blackwater's surge. Kahit nasa bench na itong si Marcos Dalte. Samantalang ang Blackwater naman, the coaches alerted their players to use fouls wisely and not let Meralco's Andre Emmett have touches. And if Blackwater can have better shot selection, sabi ni Coach Leo, he's positive they can win this game, James. Excellent feed. And Bam Bam Gamalinda with a finish off of that Val Acuna shot. But you know what, James? I totally agree with Sel. I mean, uh, ball movement's always been the key for Blackwater, uh, especially in that last game. But the turnovers and not moving the ball around enough has always been their demise. So it's going to be very important for them in this third quarter, or this second half, to really execute properly. Uh, foul in the wrestling match underneath. Valacuna, mapipito na kanyang unang foul. In combination, ni Bam Bam Gamalinda, ni Valacuna, they've been doing damage for the Blackwater Elite. As Anthony, this is the three-point shot. Ito na naman ang Blackwater Elite. Acuna stops, pops, couldn't score that time. Put back, almost good, but it's a Blackwater Elite. And possession stays with the Elite. I, mean, I think Blackwater has to understand that they can't, they have the potential to be a really good rebounding team. They're, they look like they're a little bit bigger than Moralco, so that could be an advantage for them. Gomelinda sends it out to Falacuna. And El Defonso hauling down the rebound. 41 to 36. Meralco Negajabol. And the reverse. Million dollar move, but a 10 cent finish. And you know what I mean? The Moralco, they're getting good shots, even in the first half but they're just not knocking him down. Here's Douthit in the post. Nasun to Tandon. The Sean Anthony. It's just a really good matchup between Sean Anthony and uh, Marcus Douthit, I think, because Sean is one of those scrappy guys. He's not going to give uh, away. And then, of course, you see him reaching in there. Douthit swings it over to Bam Bam Gamalinda. They begin a screen. To Gilbert Bulawan. Gets it outside to Acuna, but no maubus and oras. Blackwater relay really, again. The defense of Miralco is something that they can always depend on. It's just a multiple defense. Coach Black likes to do it a lot. He likes to disguise man to man to zone and vice versa. You know, but again, Blackwater has to be aware not only of their shot selection but also the shot clock. Hodge puts it up and in. Gets a finish and a foul. And we'd like to see this from. Cliff Hodge, he's one of the keys uh, to this, the success of this Morocco team. And it's just a really nice pass, a great pass, a heads-up pass by Daniel Defonso. Good control and concentration by Cliff Hodge. Um, he needs to get started because he was scoreless in the first half. Some big-to-big -big passing. Ahora need some Morocco bolts. Three points, three boards. And Cliff Hodge. Looking to get in court as the Miracle Bolts. Dalawang puntos na lang, hinahabo, 41 to 39. Doubt it. Still given no space by Sean Anthony. He's looking to drive, immediately double team. Gamalinda, the drive, Hodge the rebound. Miracle nagmamadali. Emmett bounce pass, Anthony takes his time and gets it a go. Great open transition by the Morocco Bolts, but it started with defense. Blackwater's got to do a better job of taking care of the basketball. He's been called scrappy, a hard worker, definitely not pasipag. It will see Sean Anthony as you take a look at the Morocco Bolts running and gunning in this Motolite Express headed play of the game. Sean Anthony with a layup brought to you by Motolite Express headed for Express headed service call 370-6686. Frank Golia trying to go to a score with a under goal staff, he got fouled, will go to the line. It's a good pick and roll play by Brian Perella, Perella and Frank Gola. And Frank Gola, you know, just being young again, I mean, he's got to learn how to finish those plays. But 
He did try to finish strong. He got fouled. Now he's at a charity strike. A hard-working big man as well from Ateneo de Manila. Was coached by Coach Norman it's, Black when he was in college. It's James is crazy because I remember this kid. He was like 16 years old when I first met him. Mm -hmm. Now he's out there playing. Oh, oh, oh. excellent feed. Zakai Danny Ai to Sean Anthony. One of the things that Danny Ai has always been great at, finding the open man, especially in his heyday, coming out of that post. Outside shot misses. Emmett rising for the rebound. Shot the rebound down to Andre Emmett. Emmett this time the playmaker. Bottle some Miralka Bolts. And to the inside, the Lakai Daniai, back outside. Lakai, the fake, the kick out. Ando for three. And Golia almost tracks it down. Now Sunduta Panihaj, but ball will go the other way. Kind of weird to see Andre Evan being the playmaker. Different uh, wrinkle. It's a different look, but yet they're up one in this third quarter. Rafi Reyes in the game. Out of Lisa Blackwater lead. The Bolts ready to collapse on Marcus Douthit. But Douthit fades away and puts it away off the glass. James, I think that's one of the main things that Blackwater needs to do. Take advantage of that mismatch, because it is a mismatch. Sean Anthony's given up about four or five inches. Anthony with the drive. Denied up top by Frank Olia. A very solid six foot four, six foot five. Let's see Frank Golian able to stay in step. Sean Anthony bit against the Cliff Hodge. Hodge inside, short on the layup. And again, will troop to the free throw line. Good strong move, good aggressive move by Cliff Hodge. Two free throws. Cliff Hodge, as always, pag talagang yung mukuna at nag-decide na sumalaksak, talagang ipabaon yung bola. Chance to equalize with his first free throw, and he does. As we remind everyone, this PBA Governor's Cup is brought to you by PLDT Home TV Evolution. Turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. Only 199 pesos per month. Call 171 or visit pldthome.com to subscribe. Let's hear now from Sal Guevara. Cliff Hodge decided to play more offense para mas masulit ang kanyang playing time. And if he scores, it builds his confidence that he can contribute to any aspect of the game. So expect Hodge to shoot more baskets while he hustles for the ball, James. So offensive-minded as Douthat gets a finish on the foul. Well, definitely the biggest offensive threat. Maradisa Blackwater elite, Heruela and Douthat connecting and devastating inside. James, they need to just keep looking inside for Marcus Douthat until Morocco figures out a way to try and shut that down. I mean, because, again, Marcus Gowdy, he's one of he's one of the better big, big men in passing. He's averaging about four assists a game. His own defense. That's a black order lead. Then I'll go moving the ball around. Beautiful ball movement. And the finish by Sean Anthony. Great ball movement. And you know, that's the type of passing that's going to be effective against that 2-3 zone deployed by Blackwater. Here's Aruela, dancing with his defender. Runs out of space. Douthat couldn't get position. Titira si Rafi Reyes, mula sa labas. Lavins a rebound, magungunin Frank Golia. Golia, stripped down low, Anthony on the run. Andre Emmett in the open court. Emmett flies and scores! Great transition, this is probably one of the ways that Morocco is gonna take some sort of control of, over this basketball game because Blackwater hasn't done a good job of sprinting back on defense when Morocco gets out in that transition. Douthit, how will he answer? Well, we'll stay with the lead. Just a pesky defense. It, it's pesky. Every time he pokes that ball out of his hand, I'm telling you, it's annoying. It's annoying for big guys. It's an amazing master guapo move brought to you by Master Face Scrub Secreto. Reyes again from the outside, and he puts that one away. A three-point shot brought to you by PLDT Home Devolution. Turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. 
a 50 to 48 advantage. Para sa Blackwater Elite, that's Andre Emmett. Whistled for an offensive foul. That's his first. It's a good heads up play uh, by Eddie Lara, uh, the veteran, um, realizing and knowing that Andre Emmett, this is the second time Andre Emmett attacked baseline. And he just planted himself and waited for it. Anthony just relentlessly <laughs> poking the ball away from Marcus Dowdy. And you see Marcus Dowdy's facial expression. You know, there's nothing more, I mean, because Sean Anthony's natural position. You see, they're bringing in the big guys now. They're bringing in Kelly Nabon. But his natural position is a three, which means he has probably a little bit more quicker feet than the bigger Marcus Dowdy. And the hands. That time, Dowdy misses the jumper. Rako le tagbama dali. Hodge, challenge in the defense, denied by Dalton. Reyes chasing after it, pero ang bola, mananatili sa Meralco Bolts. That's the halfway mark na ating itlong yung to. Talagang diktika ng ating laban dito. As Emmett puts away the three. And that three-point shot brought to you by PLDT Home TV Evolution turns your ordinary TV into an internet TV. That was a long three-point shot. Three-point shot. Andre Emmett now in double digits, has 11 points to equal the production of Marcus Dalton. Laure, the reverse. He's a hard-working man inside. And like I said, they're leading in rebounds. Morocco's got to do a good job of boxing out. David makes the pay, and El Granada detonates from downtown. And Ali, now we're cooking. Both teams. Both teams starting to pick it up a little bit. And there's a foul on the Miralco Bolts trying to chase after Brian Heruela. Simon Atkins might be the one who has a foul. Mangasha to Frank Golia. And Dina Baguian, the Laba Nain Talongian, or Ateneo Lasal, back when they were in college. Morocco with this two-point advantage. Reyes couldn't take back the lead. Atkins looking to push the pace. Simon, rousing and dazzling with the dribble. Nava loses the basketball. What are you saying? You know, it slipped out of his hands. I mean, he had the right idea. Going strong to the basket, that's what you're supposed to do. But you also got to secure that ball. Caruela. Looking for his options. Golia ready to use the screen. He did it to Brian. Brian, left-handed drive, misses. Nabo finally controls the rebound. Andre Emmett. And he is fouled. Foul by number 17, Frank Golia. His first foul, 14. Even the leak out play being defended by the Blackwater Elite. Yeah, that, that, was, that was a good foul by Frank Golia. I mean, the last thing he did. Morocco has a two-point lead. The last thing you want is for them to gain even more momentum than what they already have. And just to stop that break, let the import earn it at the free throw line. One blue eagle for another. JP Eram uh, replacing it to Frank Dolia. 13 points in the game. Paradito by Andre Emmett. And Morocco now with a four-point lead, 56-52. to man defense for the Bolts. Laure looking to drive against Gary David. Jumper in and out. Dalton taps it to himself. He's a papakakataon para sa elite. Hodge pressuring J.P. Enam. And with Hodge. He just whistled for a foul. Infamous hip. The hip bump. So Marcus Dalton. Marcus will take a breather. Papasok si Rio Cervantes. Blackwater Elite, all local lineup. Now on the floor for the final, 3 and 27. Here in the third. Veruela from straight away and gets it a go. Great shot by Brian Veruela. A nice balance coming off that, uh, looked like a screen there. Seven points in the game for the Blackwater point guard. Atkins to David. Back to Simon. Naraco moving the basketball around for David's three-point shot. And he gets it a go. What you like to see from Gary David, and he's feeling it. 
And a lot of it had to do with what they did in the first half, where they took Andre Emmett out, allowed Gary and the other players to kind of get their rhythm back, and now he has his rhythm. Hodge takes it away, and Cliff Hodge will fly and put it down! Great jam, but also good defensive play by Cliff Hodge. Blackwater's got to be aware of those cross-court passes. Geralco definitely feeling the power surge. Need us a third quarter. Caruela starting to dance with Simon Atkins. Era contra Kelly Nabo. Handoff for Brian Geruela. Seven left to shoot. Intense defense. Barasa Meralco bolts. Geruela, wild shot, misses. Makakataon para sa Meralco. Nadagtagan na kanila naman. Emmett this time. Crosses over. Outside to David. Tried to find Emmett again. He recovers. David, open. Gonna make them pay. The Bolts coaching staff asking for a foul given up. No whistle, so play continues. There's a lot of physical play underneath the basket. I think Nabong uh, hit the deck. Six left to shoot. Barras a Blackwater lead. Eruela, contra kay Atkins. Over the defense. Masyado malakas. Emmett rises to secure the board. 11 in the game. A double-double para kay Andre Emmett. Andre against Eddie. Ten left to shoot. Emmett trying to force the issue. David from the corner. Nabo. And gets it off Rafi Reyes. And the Miracle Bolt squad applauding the effort of the hard-working Kelly Nabo. The Bolts are up 61-54. At napaparami na rin. Ang punto sa ginagawa dito ng Miracle Bolts. David already with 12. Emmett with 13. And Hodge with that highlight slam dunk earlier. So we approach under a minute remaining here in the third. Jared Dillinger in the game. Challenge by Rio Cervantes. Outside to Sean Anthony. Anthony inside, yes. pretty play! Nice pass. And you can see the off the ball movement by the Semeralco Bolts. That's where they're most deadly, I think. You know, in what you said earlier, you got three players that I think are in double figures, and that's the type of production that's so badly been needed for Morocco. Cervantes trying to go one on one against Jared Dillinger. There's a foul given up. Foul number 20, Jared Dillinger. It's on the Daredevil. commercial break, narinig natin si Coach Leo Isaac Ali. He was telling his guys, get open. There's nothing happening for us. Exactly. Nothing happening. He was getting on Brian Herwella, you know, just kind of dribbling out there, running down the shot clock. You got to make something happen. If you're going to pass the ball, go screen away. There needs to be more movement. I mean, this shot by Cervantes, or the attempted shot, I mean, he, he ended up going to the free throw line, but in my opinion, not a good shot because, again, there was no movement. It was a one-on-one -on -one play. Possible last shot time. Para sa Meralco Bolts. They want the ball in the hands of the daredevil, Jared Dillinger. Meralco up 63 to 56. Cervantes comes out to defend Jared. Adam pushes Nabong to prevent the screen. Atkins, back to Dillinger, but ball the pass too strong as Heruela, a strong heave, and that will take us into the payoff period. Meralco riding their electric surge. They are up 63 to 56. At Tahelian Satulo, Nakanila locals, El Granada elevates, detonates from downtown. He has 14 points in the game, eight in the third quarter, five of 10 from the field. That's Shepre, Cliff Hodge, and you can drop the hammer anytime you want with your Cliff Hodge. He rises, baptizes, and Meralco with the lead, 63 to 56.